so today's project is turning this old ready to retire wheelbarrow into a nice little planter. We're retiring it because there's a big hole in this rusted out metal. This wheelbarrow predates me. This was uh, my uncle Mike's back when he uh, back when he owned the place. Evidently the wheelbarrow got left out in the rain way too long and weakened the metal. I've been happily using it until recently. I've got two wheelbarrows. It's nice to have two wheelbarrows. But this one's, uh, this one's just going to be a planter now. First step, even though it's got a big hole in it right now, I'm going to drill a few more drain holes so when, it, when we water the plants, it doesn't become kind of a kind of a swampy mix down there just just in case it needs a few more holes to to be good drainage. I like the look of a rustic old wheelbarrow for uh, for the planter. But Wendy would really like a little more color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same paint that we've used for our chicken coop and our buckling sh shelter. <clears throat> our buckling shelter and just give it a light rubbing just to get a little bit of that color on there and uh, <clears throat> but still let the old rusticness show through then I'll just put it in place fill it with dirt and I'll let Wendy pick the plants to go into it
putting a very shallow layer of these small, really kind of rotted out wood pieces in the bottom. That will just act like a sponge for moisture and help keep the help keep the plants hydrated enough hopefully during uh, dry spells in the summer. Boy, after all that hard work of putting a bag of dirt in the wheelbarrow, I think I deserve a nap. Fortunately, Wendy just put up a hammock in our front yard. Let's try it out. Hi, so Brian has cleaned up this wheelbarrow to make it a little prettier for us to have out here by our chickens and our goats. And so we were trying to think of what to grow back here and we've decided on planting this wildflower shade mixture and we'll just see how it does. There's not a lot of light back here, particularly after the, the trees back here get their leaves on it then this plus the evergreens on this side kind of really shade everything out so hopefully this will be good um, it's a pretty easy seed mix I, I looked at some flowers that maybe I could just kind of arrange in here maybe some coleuses or something like that but I thought well this will be the easiest thing just to try it the first time so and if it works then then maybe i'll keep doing it if it doesn't i might try some other things like maybe some coleuses or something like that so this packet is pretty easy to see though you just kind of broadcast it And I'm really overseeding a bit just because it is so dark back here. I'm going to just use every seed in this wheelbarrow just to make sure we hopefully get at least something in here. It may be really full of flowers. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the hose for you. Not yet. And kind of what I like to do rather than raking it in or doing anything like that is I just bring a small bucket of potting soil and I just dust over the top of it. little better distribution of the dirt 
and have the seeds still kind of in that spread out pattern that they were when I tossed them in there. So. Trying to plant them in holes that look too planted regularly. Yeah. Wouldn't be as natural. Less, less like a wildflower bud like you yeah. see in nature. This way, they'll kind of grow like they blew there, which in my mind is, is very pretty for things like this. I, I do like the way other people's beds look when they have vegetables planted and they're all in these perfect little rows and things like that, but that just really doesn't happen for me even when I try to make it happen so I'm going with my own nature here a little bit too. That, that's probably plenty. Probably a little more even than I should put on there but I wanted to kind of just make sure. I like to do this little bit of a smush right before I water it just so that everything doesn't move around a whole bunch because then you'll end up with these weird patches where the seeds are and it just really doesn't look very good so hose it down a lot more without everything souping up. So uh, if you're looking for this that's on your hose or your sprayer, it's probably called mist. And then I'll go back to the shower. And you see how it kind of is not really moving around now. It's just staying nice. And if you stand back a little bit, you do better. So, so all you really want to do is give it a thorough soaking. And it's a warm day, so I'll let that soak in a little bit. Give it a second. I see the water disappear. I'm gonna go again. Giving it a real good drink of water the first time. Yep. And I'll water it this way at least every other day for the first couple days until I start to see something come up and then after that I'll use the mist while they're small little seedlings just to keep them from flopping over or getting hurt because they're struggling a little bit back here so they're gonna maybe be a little spindly so I'll protect their little little skinny legs by using that mist setting but as long as they've been getting nice deep grease of water before that they should have plenty of water. And you can see it's cooling up a little bit in here. And so I just want to make sure it's not going to do that if it happens to rain a little bit at night or something. And I'm also checking to make sure my hands don't have seeds on it. <laughs> you walk away with everything you just placed on your hands.
Now, if you listen to what the ground is doing, you can kind of hear it making this drippy sucking sound. And I, can, I know then that it's getting all the way through to the bottom. I can, I can see it actually dripping out of the bottom. Maybe a little there. bit. Yep. And that's a good way if, you, if you're soaking a pot to know that things are kind of working and you've got enough water in it as it starts to make this sort of sucky, raining sound. Um, not that it's a crappy sound, that it's actually making a sound. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So wildflowers planted. Brian should be happy now. Right. He's really excited to have this wheelbarrow planted. Thanks. Yep.